tattoos. They may seem like a fun, artistic way to express your wild side, but they can lead to a lifetime of regret. Take me, Sue Smith. I spent my early 20s in a blackout, and now I have tattoos all over my body for the rest of my life, like a pear dress as Sherlock Holmes on my arm and righteous on the other arm. What? I want people to learn from my mistakes, so I'm here at the Philadelphia Tattoo Convention to stop regrets before they happen. Do you have any tattoos that you regret? Yeah. What do you yeah. have that you regret? Uh, the majority of my body, really. I'm working on getting a lot of laser removal done right now. I got a lot of it when I was young. Uh, probably my Pokemon sleeve. Pokemon yeah. sleeve? Pokemon sleeve, for sure. Maybe this one because it should have had more color in it. Okay. It's a, literally a tiki mask throwing up. And I believe when something throws up, it's multicolored. So it's not the vomit you regret, it's the color. I would like more color in my vomit. Yes. Okay, okay, that makes sense. World famous Enigma. <laughs> Do you regret this one? Uh, actually, no. That one's pretty good. What about this one? No. No, I like that one. You're the owner of this tattoo removal business. I right? am. What was the worst tattoo you saw? Oh my god, there are some that are really awful. Like penises marching with army boots and hats. What did you have taken off? The stupid dragon. Uh-huh. Because it was stupid. Why'd you get it in the first place? Because it was badass in the 90s. Yeah. I had a bunch of ragdolls on my arm that looked like I had about 30 dicks on my arm. <laughs> and they were all on fire. <laughs> 90s. The 90s was an interesting time. When I got it covered up, I got it covered up with a horse, but I made sure that the new cover-up had a dick in it too, because you can't erase the past. <laughs> I just think that if you did have a tattoo, it would be kind of get weird when you're older. Do you think your dad's tattoos are weird? No, not at all. Okay. I think she's saying something. Are you going to get any more? Probably. Why did you decide to get a butterfly on your butt? Because I have a soft side and a hard side. And the soft side is the butterfly. My other butt cheek says DJF for don't give a fuck. Guys, don't do it. You're going to regret it. Regrets were everywhere. So I wanted to make sure people thought long and hard before making the same mistakes I did. How long have you been thinking about it? About a week or two. A week or two? Katie. How will you explain this to your children? Uh, if I have to <laughs> explain tattoos to them, I'll probably tell them my self-expression, you know, I mean. Do you realize that's going to be on your body forever? Yeah. Is this your first tattoo? No. What else do you have? I have a sun and a moon and a quote on my foot. What's the quote? It's from The Lion King. Do you regret any of them? No. Are you drinking? Yes, I am. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure? Uh-huh. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure? I'm positive. Okay. These people were so committed to their tattoos. But why? Make sure it's something that's in your heart. If it's not in your heart, then don't do it. So remember, think before you ink. Tattoos are forever. What? I like pizza, Mujan. Hey, I'm Lizzie and this is Matt. We're from UCB1 and thanks for watching our video. If you want to see more from UCB1, just click on us. Or if you want to subscribe, click that button. Mm -hmm. There's some uh, hot topical sketches from Pocket Watch right over here. Or the ladies' lash over here. That's right, so it's all gold. You're going to love all of it. Golden.